Let, let's continue the same problem. Say by using joint equilibrium equation, we can find out E i theta b. That is M b a plus M b c plus M b d equal to minus 30. This equation now we are using. Substitute for M b a, b c, b d. So you will get value of E i theta b is equal to minus 5.36. Minus 5.36. Now substitute this E i theta b and find out the final moments. So the last step is final end moments. So final end moments. Now after substituting these values in the above equations, you just calculate this m a b, m b a, m b c, m b d, and m d b. So you calculate these values and according to their nature, whether clockwise, anticlockwise, you show here. Now the value of young AB is minus 4.28. Minus means anticlockwise. So this is anticlockwise 4.28. Then BA value of BA is minus 8.57. Minus means again anticlockwise. So anticlockwise this is 8.57. Fifty-seven. Then BC is minus five point thirty-six. BC anticlockwise again minus five point thirty-six. Then BD BD is again anticlockwise sixteen point zero eight. This is sixteen point zero eight, and DB is anticlockwise. That is. Anticlockwise means 8.04. 8.04. So knowing the end moments, now we can construct bending moment diagram for this frame. So let's draw BMD. Let's take this as a reference, the frame itself as a reference line. So without any loads, without any support. You take a reference line as a frame. So there is no member loading. There is no member loading. So there is no question of drawing bending moment diagram due to external loads. So at the BMD is only to be drawn by due to the end moments only. Now I have already told that draw BMD on tension side or suppose if arrow here is downward, draw ordinate upward. Say this is four point. So ordinate is 4.28. Now here this is upward, ordinate must be downward. So this ordinate will be normal to the member 8.57. 8.57. Again here this is downward, ordinate is upward 5.36. And here it is 0. So this is 5.36. This is to be joined. And then this is error on this side. So this is 16.08. And here 8.8. Say this is 8.04, this is 16.08, and this is BMD. So this represents BMD. So this is BMD is drawn on the tension side. So once I, if this is positive, then this you take negative, then positive, negative, and positive. So this is BMD. 
PMD due to the external loading. Now we have completed two problems of non sweat type frame. Two problems of non sweat type frame. Now let's consider sweat type frames. So analysis of sway frames. So analysis of sway frames is little bit difficult as compared to non sway frames because one unknown gets increased. That is the delta sway of the frame will be the additional unknown. So let's take down the simple problem first. A portal, a simple frame, not portal, this is fixed and here it is a roller. And a load is applied here. Say this is 20 kN load. This is 4 meter. This is 3 meter. A, B, C. So this is the problem, simple problem. So because there is a roller at C which will cause a lateral sway. The lateral sway will occur and we are going to assume sway towards right only. So a lateral sway will occur and therefore this is a sway type frame. This is a sway type frame. And now the unknowns will be unknowns theta b and delta so we will use modified slope deflection equation so using modified slope deflection theta c can be so here you just mention using modified equation so using modified equation unknowns will be theta b and delta so what will be the equations to find out this this is MBA plus MBC equal to 0. And the another equation is a sway equation. Sway equation. So this is equation 1. So we have to develop a sway equation now by applying summation fx equal to 0. Or this is also called total shearing column must be 0. So assume towards right HA. So HA plus 20 both are towards right equal to 0. HA plus 20 is equal to 0. How to find out HA? Sum of column and moments divided by H. That is MAB plus MBA divided by height of the column 4 plus 20 equal to 0. And there is no load on member AB. If there is a load on member AB, then we have to take moment due to this load about B. So MAB plus MBA plus moment due to the load about B. If it is clockwise positive, if it is anticlockwise negative, then divided by height of the column. So what equation now becomes MAB plus MBA. Say let's take this equal to minus 80 is second equation. So we have two unknowns, two equations. Now we can solve the problem as usual. So this step one, the equation step two, and now step three, fix the end moments. Again here there is no load on the member equal to zero for all ends. All member ends. Then, fourth step, let's develop slope deflection equations. Slope deflection equations. So, slope deflection equation for MAB 2EI upon L is 4 2 theta A, this is 0 because it is fixed, plus theta B and since we are assuming sway towards right, then delta is always negative. If the sway is towards right, delta will be negative. Minus 3 delta upon L is 4 and plus minus 0. So this becomes 0.5 EI theta B minus 
3 by 4 again this uh, EI by 2 is there 8 3 by 8 and I think this may be 0 0.375 EI delta equation 1 then MBA equal to 2 EI upon L is 4 2 theta B plus 0 minus 3 delta upon L plus minus 0. So this is EI theta B EI theta B minus uh, again this point 375 EI delta equation 2. Now MBC for MBC we have to use modified slope deflection equation. So and there is no need to develop equation for CB. So MCB we have already made equal to 0. So BC is now MFBC minus mfcb by 2 plus 3ei upon l theta b and this is minus again bc there is no delta for bc remember so delta is for column so is for column not for b so delta is 0 here so therefore this is 0 because no fixed end moment plus 3ei upon l is 3 theta b so this is EI theta B equation 3. So this is equation 3. So we have developed the slope deflection equations. And the next step using using joint equilibrium equation using joint equilibrium equation. So that is M uh, equations. There are two equations M B A plus MBC equal to 0. So you develop the first equation that is EI theta B minus 0 0.375 EI delta then this is BA BC is plus EI theta B equal to 0. So the equation will be 2 EI theta b minus 0 0.375 ei delta equal to 0 so this is first equation now the second equation from so equation that is m a b plus m b a equal to minus a t now substitute for a b and b a these two we have to substitute and then you develop the second equation. So M A B is 0.5 EI theta B minus 0 0.375 EI delta. Then B A A B B A is this again plus EI theta B minus 0 0.375 EI delta equal to 0. So you develop second equation. Then solving equations 1 and 2. Solving equations 1 and 2, you will get EI theta B. You check this answers. EI theta B equal to 32.03 and EI delta equal to 170.71. Now substituting this, let's find out final moment. Substituting these values in equations 1, 2, 3. So you will get MAB, the answer is minus 48 kilonewton meter. MBA, the answer is minus 31.98 and MBC must be equal and opposite 
that is plus 31.98. So knowing the end moments, let's draw bending moment diagram. So with this, we can draw the bending moment diagram. So here, this is negative means anti-clockwise. So this is 48. Then BA is anti-clockwise, negative. Again, it is like this. So this is 31.98 and this is clockwise means this is the nature. This is 31.98. So with these values, now we can draw the bending moment diagram. So BMD, so let's take this frame as a reference line and just draw the ordinates opposite to the arrows. This is towards right, so ordinate is towards left. So this is 48. This is left, ordinate is on the right. And this is upward, ordinate is downward and here it is 0. So this is 31.98. 31.98 and the resultant diagram is this. So the shaded area represents final BMD. So this is bending moment diagram. So this is bending moment diagram. Let's consider one more problem. So next, let's take a very, uh, this is also one of the standard problem. Most of the times asked in the examinations also. So two hinged the portal frame. So the problem is like this. Say load applied here is 10 kN. Say load is horizontal, even though frame is geometrically symmetrical, but loaded horizontally. So it's a sway frame. And this is height is 4 meter, this is also 4 meter, this is 6 meter length, moment of inertia I, moment of inertia I and here it is 2I, moment of inertia I, I and 2I. Okay, this is the problem A, B, C and D. So this is a sway type frame. So from figure it is very clear that sway will occur towards right. So this is a sway. Now what are the unknowns? Say actually theta A, theta B, theta C, theta D and delta. There will be five unknowns. Means we have to develop five equations. equations and solve them. So manually this is very difficult. So no doubt we have five equations but now we will reduce these equations by using some of the techniques like concept of anti-symmetry modified equations. Now using modified equation if we use modified the unknowns will be only theta b, theta c and delta, only three unknowns. The two unknowns gets eliminated, theta a and theta d. Then using, using concept of, concept of anti-symmetry, using concept of anti-symmetry, so theta b equal to theta c theta b equal to theta c. We know that this is 
anti-symmetric problem. So that means final unknowns, final unknowns only to theta b and delta. So the first step we have identified the unknowns and unknowns are only to theta b and delta. That means let's note down the equations m b a plus m b c equal to 0. This is first equation. And the second equation will be a sway equation. Now let's develop sway equation. So sway equation will be simply summation fx equal to 0 or total share in column this is HA and this is HD. So total share in column is 0 that is HA plus HD plus 10 equal to 0. No horizontal other horizontal load acting on it. So what is HA? Sum of the column and moments MAB plus MBA divided by height of the column that is 4 plus MCD plus MDC sum of column and moments divided by height of that column 4 plus 10 equal to 0. So now equation will become MAB plus MBA plus MCD plus MDC is equal to minus 40 is equal to minus 40. So second equation. Now we have two equations, two equilibrium equations. So these equations can be used to find out the unknown quantities. Now the next step that is third step, let's develop slope deflection equations. Slope deflection equations. I think now uh, here we have to use modified for MBA and MCD. So MBA is equal to, so remember fixed and there is no member load, fixed and moments are 0. MBA is equal to MFBA minus MFAB upon 2 plus 3 EI upon L theta B and this is minus 3 EI upon L square delta. Delta is unknown, theta B is unknown. So this is 0 plus 3 EI upon L is 4. This is theta B minus 3 EI upon L square that is 16 delta. So you will get the, you do this calculations and this will be the first equation. Then M B C, this is as usual, 2 EI upon L is 6. So I will substitute values directly, 2 value of I is 2I, L is 6. In bracket, 2 theta B plus theta C is nothing but theta B and here there is no question of delta for B, that is only for column and this is 0. So this is 4 by 3 EI theta B, ah, no, no, this again 2 plus 1, 3, 3, this 3 gets cancelled, this is 2 EI theta B only equation 2. Then MCB 2 EI upon L 2 theta C means theta B plus theta B and this is again plus minus 0 plus minus 0. So now this will become this is again 3 2 2 EI theta third equation MCB now MCD MCD this is MFCD minus MFDC upon 2 
plus 3ei upon L is 4 delta, sorry, here it is theta c, theta c is nothing but theta b minus 3ei delta upon L square is 60. So, this will be the fourth equation. Now, all equations are ready. Slope deflection equations are now ready. So, next, using joint equilibrium equations, using joint equilibrium equations, so what you get, Ei theta B equal to, so 10, you check this answer, sign Ei delta equal to 146.3. Now, substituting these values above, let us write down the end moment. So, what will be the end moment? So, end moments that is MBA, value of MBA is minus 19.96. Minus means anti clockwise. This is anti clockwise. 19.96 then mbc plus this is minus this is plus means clockwise 19.96 again for cb cb plus means clockwise so this is 19.96 and i think this is anti clockwise for column minus 19.96. Now with these values we can draw the BMD. So let us draw the BMD for this. So the bending moment diagram for this frame. So this is the frame. So opposite say all this is both are outward arrows. So the inward. And here this is inward, means this diagram is outward or on tension side. Then tension here is downward, tension here is upward. Say this is 19.96, 19.96. So there is no loading, so BMD due to loading is not there. Now the centered area, so this is the final BMD. Bend the moment diagram. Now all these problems we can solve by moment distribution method also. Now we have solved two problems of non-sway and two problems of sway frame completely. Now I will give you one only one problem for practice, for homework. So the last problem. Now the slope deflection method will end here. Next time we will start moment distribution method. So let's take this problem for homework. So this is vertical member. Hinge support. No take this as also fixed. So there is no question of using modified method. Only the regular equations you can use take this as 12 kilonewton meter then a central load of 50 kilonewton so this is 2 meter 2 meter 3 meter and 6 meter so this is the problem So this is A, B, C and D. A, B, C, D is a portal frame. So here unknowns, 